She is a scorcher out here today. Look at this. What's going on, guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman, 408. It's Toby Tuesday. Toby Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I answer questions with my dog from, from you guys. So I go through the previous questions all through the week, and I try and pick out, you know, five or six decent ones. And then I go over and get Toby, and we do uh, some questions. So not a whole lot going on here. We've had a bit of a heat heat wave the last couple days so um hope all the fathers had a great father's day on uh, sunday there mine was good took my dad to the beach well up in bayfield to my grandma's place and uh, we had a little family family day there so it was good other than that um cars so we jumped the dodge it went amazingly it uh i put it in four by four and it jumped huge that thing was like jumping out of a tank it was scary but uh, it went really well. It didn't go as high as the Jeep, but it definitely went as far or maybe a foot or two farther. And then I went and bought a Ford Escape and I wasn't expecting much out of it. The transmission was starting to go, but I got a good deal on it, a couple hundred bucks. And uh, it was all wheel drive and it was the best jump we've ever had. Like, I don't know if it went as high as the Jeep either, but it went farther. It's ended up jumping over top of the, uh, or it hit the side of the jump and flipped over and kept going there so actually that video was posted today this morning before this video so if you guys want to go check it out it is live on my channel ford escape jump epicness so yeah i don't know if it's supposed to storm today but it is it is hot it's 32 degrees it's very humid very muggy um i've been inside most of the morning and air conditioning just working on emails and all the fun YouTube stuff. So, um, other big news. I locked in a collaboration July 4th to 6th. Damon and Dave from Daily Driven Exotics are going to be here. They're actually doing a, a rally starting in Toronto. So, they're having the Lamborghini ship to Detroit. Detroit. Apparently, I always pronounce it wrong. So, says my girlfriend. But they're having the Lamborghini ship there. And then they're going to drive it up here. They're staying here for two days. So I'm going to show them how it's done. You know, they do the Lambo videos. I crash cars. So they want to crash cars and I want to do the Lamborghini videos. So we're going to do a little swap, show them how it's done. So we're going to make a ton of content. Hopefully some good stuff. Hopefully we have some great weather. Hopefully you guys go subscribe to them. Their guys come subscribe to me and we all win. So I don't think it's going to rain today, but you never know. Anyways, let's head to the barn. We'll get Tobes. And then I'm going to rip the dirt bike down to the river and show you guys how low the water is getting because we haven't had much rain at all and it's been so hot. So the river is getting very low. All right, Toby time. Toby, what are you doing? Come on, Tobes. Get over here. Get over here. Yeah, you're hanging out in here today. It's a lot cooler in here. A lot cooler in here. You want to go for a ride? Let's go for a ride. Come on, Tobes. Let's go. Let's go. It is warm out here. Holy moly. Papa, that's fun. We're hanging out in the greenhouse. Hey, Tobes? It's really cold in here. Turn the doors open. Are you going to turn the doors on? Look at that. Ta -da! So, Tash and Zan are working on the greenhouse here. Tash, or Tash is here, Zan's not here. But, um,. So you're just planting new new um, vegetables today? Yep, this is the propagation station. So they grow here and uh, in their seedlings. And then eventually we move them over to the nursery. This is our vegetables here. So these yeah, will be see. moved over on Wednesday. Cool. And then, yeah. These are all herbs, so they take a lot longer to come up. Okay. And obviously they started, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, and 10 days ago we started planting. So as you know, the weeks go on, these are going to start filling up, and then by the time they get to the end, then it's harvesting time, right? Harvesting time, yeah. So, if you guys need any produce, let us know. Yeah, so I'll include the link below if you guys want to check it out Plover Mills Produce. Um, yeah, so they just started this and they're growing quick. And once this is done, you guys are going to expand that way. Yeah. We're going to so cut the tarp down. The tarp's coming down. And hopefully, yeah. have a full greenhouse by the end of the year. So. Everything is 100% organic, vegan. There's all the water down here. Water recycles itself, so we 
are constantly using the same water and just adding nutrients if you need to. Cool. All right, I'm gonna continue Toby Tuesday. If I can even get him out of the greenhouse, he's sweating. So this is what the other end of the greenhouse looks like right now. It's just empty. All the plants and stuff are on the outside and and he's got it painted, obviously, to keep it a little more cooler in there. Because plants like heat, but they're very picky, right? Everything's got to be exactly perfect, so. Oh, beauty day. Ryan's is watering the horses over there. We got a zebra, apparently. Tobes, he's already over it. He's like, take me back inside, so. We won't be too long, Tobes. We'll get these questions done, and then we'll rock and roll out. Let's see. What do we have here? Oh, here goes Brian. I love this horse blanket or horse cover. This keeps all the flies off the horses if you want her. There he is. Big dog. <laughs> What's up? What are you doing? the horses. Water the horses. Good man. Where's he going, Dopes? <laughs> Toby loves riding around on the Kubota, so whenever Brian drives by, he's always itching to go. Anyways, questions, questions, questions. Morphman21, what's the trick to making the goon videos safe and careful at the same time? So, um, well, I don't know. You know, obviously the goon videos are just an act. I've been doing this stuff for years and uh, just trying to entertain you guys. So, oh, Mr. Zebra. But yeah, it's uh, obviously it, it hasn't gone perfect all the time. Sometimes I fall off, sometimes I run myself over, sometimes I burn my leg in the muffler. Um, yeah, it's basically just practice, you know. Um, every year they change a little bit, but uh, yeah, just practice, practice, practice. You know, I think I've been a goon basically ever since I started riding a quad and just being, being an idiot because I love being an idiot and it's more fun. So Cause being an idiot is more fun than being you know, professional. I like having fun. Anyways, carry on. Nathan Roy, Mark, you should come up to Thunder Bay. Yes, I want to make it up there. Um, obviously, you know, I'm very busy with everything I do, but I do travel a lot. And when I do travel, I announce where I am. So I try and do meetups here and there. So um, yeah, next time, wherever the next meetup is, I will definitely do, or wherever the next travel location is, I will do a meetup. And uh, yeah, I want to do one in North Bay too, because I'm up there a lot too, and in Windsor a lot, and kind of just all over the map. I think it's going to storm, guys. She's getting dark. I was hoping to do some filming later, but we shall see, Tobes. Hey, you need to brush it. Look at your hair. A fluff master. Oh my god, I saw it. Uh, Starman998, you need to jump a cheap Mustang or a Camaro. Whew, I'd probably get a lot of hate if I did that, but um, I will keep an eye out. You know, obviously I search for cars, but there's only so many used cheap cars out there that you can lowball people. So I kind of just take what I can get. Um, yes, I do buy the cars now. I do get them from the scrapyard still, but some, some of them I buy. But uh, you know, I only paid two, three hundred bucks for it, and then when you get when you take it to the scrapyard, you usually get two, three hundred bucks for it. So I don't mind paying paying for a car because then I usually get an extra video out of it, and I get a better story, and I get to drive around and meet random people and pick up their cars. So um, yeah, so I hope you guys went or I hope you guys after this video are gonna go check out the jump that was posted this morning, the Ford Escape Escape jump because it was huge. And I don't know what we're gonna jump next. I have the the Buick now from the scrapyard. I got the PT Cruiser turbocharged, and then I got a supercharged Mercedes Benz. Sorry, I haven't done a video on the Mercedes Benz yet. You know, I've been super busy, but it is down there. It is ready to get jumped, and I put an ad on Kijiji. If anyone wants parts off it, come and get them because that bitch is going flying. Um, next up, these questions. Original S. Nice, whatever that is. Please buy an all-wheel or a real-wheel drive manual car. I will try. Like I said before, you know, I kind of just take what I can get, whatever I can find on Facebook and Kijiji. So I will keep an eye out. I'm not a huge fan of the manual cars though, because like when I when I go to jump them, I you know I throw them, 
I throw they're in neutral I put the brick on the gas and then I throw them in drive so it's, it could be kind of tricky I'd have to put it in second or third gear and then kind of use something else to release off the clutch but we will do our best all right last question rad 2450 how do you put the maverick wrap on so pristine my dirt bike wrap has so many bubbles bubbles lol well lots of timing practice you know i've wrapped my quad many times i wrap many dirt bikes uh, i've never wrapped side by side but obviously this was the first one so usually there is some bubbles on it it's not perfect obviously it looks better in the video than it does in person but it still looks pretty good in person uh, I use a heat gun and then lots of time and practice. There is a trick though you can do too. A lot of guys spray water or I think there's like a certain type of water you can spray on it and then uh, you put it on and apparently you get less bubbles and you just push the water out. So I don't know how that works. I've never done it. Obviously I'd like someone to teach me to do it before I just try spraying water on, slapping stickers on. But um, yeah, anyways. Oh, oh, horse is going for a little roll. It is getting dark quick. Holy, holy guacamole! Hey, Tobes, what are you thinking? You, uh, you go done here. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you guys for the questions. As always, I'm gonna go jump on the dirt bike. We'll head down the river, and I'll show you how low it is, and then we'll wrap this video up for the day. Look at that horse. Got a, got a bunch of colors on. This is it getting really dark. All right. Let's uh, head back to the house, we'll drop Tobes off, and we'll grab the dirt bike. Toby! And the dirt bike. So I just got a text from a guy. He has a Maverick X3 as well, and it's 240 horsepower. He has put a lot of money into it, and <laughs> this thing apparently is just a weapon. Actually, it was the one from, if you guys watched the Gopher Dunes side-by-side uh, -side day last year, it was that red and green one, the thumbnail. Apparently... They've got it all crazy maxed out now, and it's up to 240 horsepower. So I think this one has 171 or something. So another 70 horsepower, that's crazy. But yeah, I'm gonna try and uh, work out uh, and do some videos with him. So let's rip this thing down to the river. I'm thinking either first start or first kick or third. What do you guys think? I'm gonna say third. Nope. I was wrong. I wonder if there's gas in it. Oh, she was fourth kick! This whole time! What a weapon! Alright, let's head down. Yeah. We're running out of room in here. Drop this here. Crazy how low it is. Like none of those rocks are usually showing. The rapids aren't really rapids anymore. It's more of a stream. Like look at that, all the gravel over there. Yeah, I definitely think it's gonna rain. That's for sure. Oh well, I love it. Well, time to drop the turd. Look at the hog. She's looking pretty. All right, let's head back up. We'll wrap her up. We think in first kick, second, maybe first this time. Oh, third. Almost had it on the first. I love the Thames River people. Like they come down here and with a tiny little lawnmower and cut this little, this little friggin' trail. <laughs> That's hilarious. We usually cut this, but they 
they apparently they want it they want it tighter so and it goes way down there pretty neat Let's see if we can wheelie this thing It's getting a little brighter outside. I think it's still 80% chance of precipitation today. So, oh, it's a little darker over there. Well, Daka. Anyways, thank you guys as always for checking out the video today. Make sure you go check out the Ford Escape video. As you can see, it is on the other side of the jump, so it did make it over. But uh, yeah, check out the links below. Go follow Clever Mills Produce. You can see what Zan's doing, growing stuff. And uh, yeah, let's uh, just keep on working and get ready for tomorrow's video. Thank you guys again. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you later.